it's time for me to eat a little bit of humble pie and address a few things. So here it goes. Um, firstly, I want to say a big fat massive well done to Thor. You know, I want to say well done for the fight. I want to take this opportunity to say what a great strong man you are or were. Uh, and appreciate you as a man and the things you've done and who you are. Because end of the day, you're a phenomenon. You're a giant of the world amongst us and someone who's special. Someone who, a bit like myself, is wants to leave an impression on this planet and do positive things and inspire his own own generation and younger generation and his own offspring. So uh, in that way, we're not too dissimilar. So you've got to respect that. So Thor, well done on the boxing match. You know, you 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 definitely employed better tactics than me. And I suppose I suppose my downfall was I I saw it as a fight and I wanted a fight. You know, in the lead up and the press conferences, anyway, I just wanted to fight. I didn't care how, where, or when. I just wanted to punch you in the face. I was so emotionally involved that I think that was my downfall. So I shake your hand virtually. Well done, sir. You know, you can purge yourself much better than me in the ring and it paid off. So fair play, you outbox me. I want to take this opportunity to thank my coach, my team, uh, and also apologize to my coach uh, for letting the emotions get the better of me because I'm a big reflection of him and my coach is a great coach. And what I showed in the ring last night was definitely not my best work. And that is a reflection of me and me alone. So I guess, I guess it's all on me. You know, I, I don't want uh, my coach to be dragged down with anything that's been said and done because it's just not true. You know, he, he coaches some great athletes that go a long way in the sport uh, and he's a great man. So I, I think I should, it's right that I come on here and defend him a little bit uh, and that, that I've done. Um, the commentator at some points mentions that, you know, is there something wrong with my left arm or hand? And I guess I can only be honest and say, yes, there was, you know, of course. I detached my bicep seven months ago and I've just been since then unable to use my left arm. And I'm not making excuses, I'm just I'm just saying it as it is. The aftermath of the fight has made me think very hard, especially the last few days. And I think I think it's time for me and Thor to move on from our differences in 2017 at the World's Strongest Man, you know. I understand why Thor did what he did, I understand why he said what he said, I understand in his head what was being you know what was the outcome was and nothing will ever change that you know he'll always have this perception that he was robbed in 2017 and me even me winning the fight is not going to change that so I suppose you know I've wanted to punch this man in the face for a long time and I got the chance to and I think it's resolved a lot for me it's really helped me to sort of push everything aside and be like it's not going to change anything it is what it is it's his choice to betray himself in that way and it's never going to change it's I'll say this, you know, I've been to many competitions in my life, swimming, strongman, whatever. And I've been second, third, fourth, fifth place many, many, many times, mainly in the strongman scene, mainly behind Thor, I'll be honest, you know, I've been placed behind him. And losing any competition is tough, but you've got to take things like a man and you've got to accept failure like a man. It's a big part of life. Not everything is going to go your way all the time. I mean, the fight didn't go my way. But I believe that losing and failure is a big part of success. You've got to go through those motions to be successful. There's not a single champion out there that hasn't failed at some point in their life, hasn't lost. And that's how I see this today. You know, I failed, I lost. But like I've done before, like I did in the strong strongman competitions, I get up, I brush myself off, and I get back to it. So seize the opportunity. The opportunity to punch four in the face was enough for me to think, that's enough now. You know, the both of us, we are who we are, we think what we think. End of the day, we're both athletes, we're brain, brains and hearts, just like everyone else. And all we can do is be the best that we can be. So man to man, Thor, I respect that. I know that you respect that. And I think we both can move on from this now. We, we've got in the ring, we've settled the differences. Coming on to that though, I do want the rematch and I'll come on to that in a little bit. But I want to say firstly, what a blast it was 
to get in the ring and throw bombs at each other for literally 24 minutes. I can honestly say I've never had such a fr thrill in my life. I absolutely loved it. 24 minutes, I mean, including the breaks, but 24 minutes of solid fighting. That is, that's a long time, you know? I've had fights all over my life and usually done and dusted in 30 seconds, you know, for 24 minutes to, to be in the ring and try to beat someone down. Was, it was something special to me. And I think we both pulled off something special. So I'm very thankful to Thor for stepping in the ring. I'm very thankful for the experience. I've learned a hell of a lot. Mainly about myself, mainly about myself as an athlete, but more so about respecting the sport that you're invested in and realizing that you can't take emotion into every single thing that you do. You know, and taking emotion into strongman worked quite good for me, but taking emotion into the into the boxing ring did not. And I suppose the only way you can learn from that is doing it, experience it, and I say getting those losses, getting those failures, and picking yourself back up, learning and carrying on. So in my eyes, you know, although I lost the fight, it's been a success in, in many, many ways. You know, speaking to the promoter the other day, I think in the 48 hours, including and following the fight, 30 plus million people watched that fight in total. And you've got to think of terms of what, what we set out to do, we did it. You know, the heaviest boxing match in history, we pulled it off. A lot of people that said they wouldn't watch the fight, let's be honest, you watched the fight. It was a hell of a fight. It was a hell, a hell of a thrill. Lots of boxers reached out, lots of promoters reached out. It was a success, end of the day. The build up to the fight was fun. It was also over amped and overworked, but I think for both of us, if we could go back and do things differently, we both would. I see that I see now that more humility and respect could have been shown to each other. And in that way we could have had more fun and put on a better show had we had put our differences aside beforehand. But I suppose that's why we were fighting in the first place. It was to put our differences aside. So if the rematch is there, then it'd be a whole different sort of play up to this. You know, there's a lot more respect there for four now and I think vice versa as well. So yeah, um, whilst I'm here, um, I suppose I want to say a big respect to Thor's family and friends and particularly his mom. I know uh, she got a little bit upset at the press conference, but. I understand now how mothers can be protective over their sons when things are getting heated. So although I do think that no one apart from the athletes and the press should be speaking at a press conference, I want to say, I'm sorry. I want to express, you know, there's no hard feelings toward any of Thor's family and friends. The respect is there. And I want to wish you all the best. Now, I suppose after a fight, you can't do anything but appreciate your opponent after the fight, no matter what happened beforehand, what happened during, and I think that appreciation is there because you know what's gone into it. You know what, how much blood, sweat and tears has gone into this, into the prep to that fight. And I suppose, you know, you've got to show that appreciation and appreciation to Thor's coach, Billy Nelson. You know, he deserves a pat on the back. Um, you know, since Thor's last fight in September, he's brought him on leaps and bounds. And it surprised me, you know, let's be honest. He improved so much since then. I think, you know, even me and myself, I thought there's going to be a lot of hugging, a lot of grasping for air. And there wasn't. You know, <laughs> we both showed the world that two hundred and fifty kilo guys can go six rounds and you know be wanting more. You know, it was it was it was class. Let's be honest. The fight, the fight and the journey has taught me a lot about life, and more importantly about how precious it is. You know, we both step in that ring and we did the business, but at the end of the day, we both put our life lives on the line. You know, no one's gonna, no one knew what was gonna happen in that ring, and. I suppose, you know, you get that appreciation, but only afterwards, you know, I watched the fight back and I'm like, Jesus, you know, we're lucky, we're all lucky and I've always got seriously hurt, you know, and that, that's the truth. Spent a few days with my family after the chaos and I needed that quiet time to regather my thoughts and get away from the online circus as well. You know, the, the wow, I mean, you guys came in hard with the trolling and uh, you know what, I deserved it. And so uh, some of the comments have been quite funny. I've, I mean, I haven't read too much, but the, the stuff I've seen, you you you're going hard and uh, fair play, you know, fair play. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but it, again, it's just made me realize how important family is. None of, none, of, none of the comments, none of the media, nothing else matters. The only thing that matters to me is my wife and kids. So it's definitely taught me, you know, it's brought me closer to them. And again, it's just a great outcome of all this. 
um, the things that really need addressing, you know, like the money to the charity, money to Larry Wheels and the, and the I'll get onto the tattoo. That will all be sorted with the promoter. The charity is going to get the most the money. We've got to wait for people to pay up. You know, obviously we've got um, sponsors and whatever else to pay up. We've all got like a, a month sort of clause in the contract for these things to be paid over. So everyone's going to get the money. Larry's going to get his money. I'm a man of a word. And the tattoo is, I mean, we never got anything formally in writing. We did try to. I reached out to the promoter a couple of times trying to get something, you know, trying to get a Zoom call with Thor just to talk about it. Unfortunately, it never came to that. So there's no stipulation on, you know, how big, where, or how color, or, or anything, other than what was said on, on YouTube. So it's going to be used as a tool for the rematch, which is fine. And I guess I would do the same completely. You know, I, I wouldn't do the rematch unless I got this tattoo. So it will happen. I'm going to do it in my own time. Obviously, you're going to get the rematch clause written up before I do. Uh, that might take some time, but... Listen, I'm a man of a word. If that's going to happen, then it's going to happen. So, uh, <laughs> and it is quite funny. You know, I can see the funny side of this at the end of the day. It's, uh, it's, um, it's a tough thing to take. You know, the loss is a tough thing to take, but um, it is what it is. You know, money to charity is a good thing. You know, how can, how can people say, you know, all the negatives come out of this? I can see a lot of positives from this. It's changed me as a person. Charity's going to get a lot of money, whatever charity Thor picks. Um, and of course, we all, we all get a good laugh at the consequences. So uh, this is what it is. I mean, the media have been harsh. You know, the trolls have been harsh. All I'll say is, you know, people need to take a hard Lord Luke, Luke in the mirror sometimes because you don't know what damage you're doing. I'm a man. You know, I can take stuff like this, but people need to remember here in the UK, there was a story on a lady called Caroline Flack who was on the back end of some bad media, some bad commenting, and this went on for a while, and she ended up taking up her own life. Now, I'm not comparing myself to her, but I can understand why some people can get, you know, down and flustered on these kind of things. At the end of the day, I put myself out on a pedestal, and I'm used to having negativity and positivity, mainly positivity. And I guess I won my dream title of, of the world's strongest man back in 2017. And then I turned my life around and I turned it to entertaining via TV shows and YouTube. And I did it to spread positivity, but most importantly, I did it to enjoy myself and enjoy my family more. So I guess after such a hard career battering my body, I sort of, you know, to do with this all again with the boxing, it's been a hell of a journey and I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And I guess at the end of the day, all this, you know, all the media and people writing these articles and um, people commenting on things and saying horrible things. End of the day, I'd like to see you get in the ring with someone of <laughs> mile four size and have a scrap with 12 ounce gloves for 24 minutes and then come back here and talk shit because it's not an easy thing to do. And I've got to say, I've got a newfound respect for boxers. It's 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 something I never thought I never thought I'd be in a boxing ring in the first instance. You know, it's never something I thought I'd never do. But I've got a newfound respect for boxes because I know what goes into the prep. I know what goes in for the for the thought process. I know what it takes for a man to walk through those ropes and face your opponent down and do the business. And I also know what it takes to to lose and and to fail. And I suppose you've got to be a little bit graceful in defeat because that's what champions do. You know, you got to think of the likes of Muhammad Ali and Anthony Joshua, who have, you know, they didn't win everything. And AJ, you know, lost his last fight. And I suppose having been through that now, I see what tough people they are. Not just physically, but mentally. You know, they've been through all these losses and they've been through all the media backlash and all the trolls online coming on and giving them crap. So I guess, I guess having that champion's mindset is, is, is the positive message here. I want to portray out there, you know, positivity, you know, you can, you can backhand someone, you can get in the ring with anyone, but end of the day, having that champion's mindset is the most important thing in life. And it, it, it transfers to so many different things, you know, to jobs, to relationships, to your kids, to your marriage, to, to everything. It doesn't matter how hard things get in life. You should never give up. You should always take losses and failure and defeat as little little chinks in the journey, little things that have got to happen. And I think that's important to say that, they have got to happen in life. 
You've got to go through these setbacks to move forward to better yourself on a daily basis. So people out there, keep doing amazing things. Keep staying positive. Keep moving forward in life. And if you don't do it for yourself, then do it for the people around you. You know, there's so many people relying on you. You're not alone. I myself, you know, it's not just about me. I've got, got an amazing family around me. It's people that rely on me and support me. Um, and you've got to pay those people back. And you pay those people back by doing what you do on a daily basis. You know, bettering yourself, pushing yourself through those barriers, pushing yourself to, to, to that greatness that you desire. Because you don't, you don't deserve any less. Okay, guys. I think that's it for me. You know, I've addressed everything, I think, uh, that needed addressing. Um, still got a little bit of healing to do with these these cuts um, and the bruises. But all in all, feeling good, feeling positive. There's a lot of opportunities coming my way. I'm going to grab them all with both hands. And hopefully we get this rematch with four set pretty soon. Um, but I'll be doing some more fights um, before that. As I say, get a little bit of experience under my belt and have some fun with it. Is the most important thing. As I say, we've spent me and four spent so long hating on each other. Now I've forgotten to I've forgotten almost forgotten how to enjoy life a little bit. So I think you know this has all been a good thing for me. It's all positive. So guys, keep being amazing. Keep being awesome. Stay safe and never, ever, ever give up on life. And I'll see you all soon. Big love the beast. Take care.